Uh, maybe you can start talking about some of the positives because what I do give them credit for is they sought out to do one of the most difficult things, right? Which is um, create that fly on the wall look, non-traditional sit down interview, follow only a handful of, or, or you know, like less than a handful of characters. And to pull it off in, in a way that, you know, even though I might have been bored as well, I was still engaged. They didn't lose me, you know, in the hour and a half long that they did. Um, I do think that um, not many can pull that off. I do think that they balance both sides of the story. Um, even the xenophobia, you know, like remember when the Americans were talked about as having fat fingers and they were like lazy. Um, I thought that was interesting. I don't know. Do you think that's true? Do you think us Americans, yes, are... Uh, I, I was born think... here, by the way, FYI. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Do you think Sarah and I are lazy with fat fingers? So <laughs> I can definitely can tell that your fingers are like skinnier than mine. So as a Middle Eastern, I have more fat fingers as you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I understand what. Uh, Just watch oh. that happen. <laughs> okay, so. I understand the, their perspectives on Americans that they think they are lazy, but I think it's more of a cultural difference. Like, you mean the Chinese that they think yeah, the Americans are lazy? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a more cultural thing. Like mm -hmm. Chinese. So somewhere throughout the movie, you will hear this like dialogue that Americans are wo not working to make the glass; they are ma working to make the money. This is basically their main philosophy because this job is not their everything. It's just a mean to everything. Yeah, it means to live. Yeah. And for the Chinese people, there's just so much of them that you have no choice, essentially. You got to yes. do it, otherwise you'll be phased out, right? Yeah. And part of it, it's that one, but also it's not the fear of getting fired. It's also the whole culture of like, Oh, devote all you can to the purpose something of that sort uh, I feel like that especially in the scenes that you see in like uh, the Chinese uh, plant uh, in the chi uh, mainland China plants that you see the, the workers are like kind of like military uh, oh yeah definitely. They, are, like, they are like they, repeating they, and... before they start off their, their mm -hmm. day they all repeat the same phrases and mottos like in unison like they were you know <laughs> part, part and of when the, the when the American supervisor tried to do that oh yeah he was, like, factory. He, was, uh, he was like so the Chinese people had everything well down everyone like repeat after me da, da, and everyone is attentive and, and like <laughs> count off numbers and yeah and then when the uh, white uh, one of the American manager who was Caucasian uh, tried to implement that that it just didn't go so everyone well. was just staring at yeah he was yeah. like so we're gonna try something new today so uh everyone uh you guys have your safety goggles on yeah oh, okay everyone have their hats on well uh okay let's let have a great day <laughs> <laughs> it was so awkward it's yeah, very awkward it's, it's coming also from the culture uh, yeah uh, i mean it just shows that you can't just treat people from different cultures in the same way because everyone comes with their own backgrounds that inform how they act.